Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to monetize your browser extension. Um, it, we're going to use a really, really simple process um, just to basically accept, you know, one-time payments, monthly payments, yearly payments, whatever it is in your browser extension. Um, it works for all of the main um, browsers. So if you're making a Chrome extension, you know, Firefox extension, Opera extension, Edge extension, whatever it is, the same method will work um, exactly the same for all of those. So it's really simple. So we're going to get right into it. Basically, we're going to be using browser bill, which is our uh, billing system. Um, you can go here. It's completely free to get started on. Um, and I'm going to leave a link to it in the description. So just go down. You, you're more than welcome to take a bit of a look at it um, and see what you think about it. But we're going to leave the link to that in the description and basically just go there. And while you're on the home page, open up the getting started and the SDK. We're going to need these later, so you can open them up later, but I'm just going to open them up now just for, you know, ease of having them there. Now, after you've done that, you're going to need to register for an account. Obviously, I already have an account, but you're just going to need to click get started, register, then you're going to sign in, and then you're going to be, I'm already taken to the dashboard because I'm already logged in. Um, and so once you've done all that, confirmed your email, etc. now we have the extensions. So we need to actually create a new extension. So click the new button. And I'm going to call it browser extension. And so we have the code here. Essentially, this code is just kind of what you're going to be. It's a unique code for your browser extension. So it's it's used to describe um, uh, to identify your browser extension within the system. And you're going to be using this code within your actual JavaScript code. So just set, set this as whatever you want, um, except it doesn't really matter. You just need to have it as anything and you're just going to be referencing this in your code. So I'm just going to set mine to browser dash uh, extension. So I click create here and then now we have um, the extension that we just created and we need to now create a plan. So this is what the users will actually be purchasing. So we'll click new plan and I can call this pro plan and you can set it to uh, the price to anything. I'm just going to set it to $10. And again, you can set it to one time, monthly, yearly. I'm just gonna set it to one time. And then now click create plan. So we'll be taken back here. And as you can see, the new plan that we just created is right here. Now, um, while we're here, just take note of this. The unique ID is what we need to reference um, in the code so that the, um, you know, the SDK knows what plan we're trying to charge the user for. So you're going to need this for later. Um, you know, we can come back here when we need it and we're going to need this for later, as I mentioned before. So that's all the work we need to do on the actual dashboard. We've got everything set up and ready to go. Now it's time to actually write the code. So open up your preferred um, text editor and create a new folder, which is going to hold all your code. So um, once you've done that, just an empty folder, we're going to need to uh, get the code in. So basically the first thing we need to do is get the SDK. As I mentioned before, you can just open up the SDK link at the top, but you should already have it open. And then, so we just need the SDK right here. Now you can get it in a variety of ways. However you want to get it is fine. I'm just going to be really lazy and I'm just going to create a new um, file called browserbuild sdk.js. And then I'm going to um, paste, copy and paste the code in here. So that's all the code that we need from the um, GitHub SDK. Now we can actually get into writing the code, the proper code for the extension. So the first thing, if you ever made an extension before, you know that we need a manifest. So just create a file called manifest.json. And we're going to be getting this code from the getting started tutorial. So go down here and just copy this uh, manifest code and paste it in. So I'm going to quickly just kind of go over what we have here. Basically, a lot of this, the manifest just provides some metadata about the extension. So a lot of this is just boilerplate and not really relevant. Um, you know, we've got the name of it here. We've got the version of it here. Um, the probably the two most important things to note here are the action and the permissions. So the action, we've just defined that the default pop-up is pop-up.html, which we'll create in a moment. And it's basically just saying whenever we click the extensions icon in the toolbar, we want to show pop-up.html. And then this is the most important for browser bill in particular. This is saying we need the storage permissions. This is required for browser bill. It will not work um, if you do not give it this permissions because it needs to store, um, you know, information about the user so it can determine whether they paid or not. So once we have the manifest all ready to go, um, then we can get onto the actual pop up. So copy the code here again, the next code, this is the HTML. 
and create a file called popup.html. Paste in that code. Again, just pretty plain um, HTML code. This is just gonna be shown when the user clicks the toolbar icon. So some things to note, we are using Bootstrap for styling. Um, and the we are importing the SDK, which we'll uh, which we already have here, and then we're adding the popup.js, which we'll create in a moment, um, and that's going to hold all of our logic for the popup. And so in particular, it's going to control this. So as you can see here, we have it say current status is, um, and then we're going to update this based on whether they paid or not, as to current status is paid, current status is unpaid, whatever it is. Then down here we have some buttons. So we have the purchase button. This will take them to the purchase page. Um, and then we have the manage button, which will take them to the management page. And obviously purchase will only be shown if they haven't purchased and manage will only be shown if they have purchased. So to get all that logic implemented, we need to create uh, the actual popup.js, which will hold all this logic. So create a new folder uh, file rather called popup.js. Again, go back to the getting started tutorial and copy this code. This is the last one we need. so. Um, just paste this in and so I'm going to go through and explain this because this is like kind of the main browser build um, code that you'll need to understand but it's really really simple I promise um, but before we get into that let's just add the configuration at the top so we need the extension code which is what we got before and the plan ID which is also what we got before so go back to your dashboard um, and go to get the code this is, uh, this is the extension code and paste this in here and then the plan ID is here. So now we can paste both of those in and that's all the th all we need to do for configuration. So now let's go through this code. So we create a new instance of Browserville for the extension code. So we're saying all calls are related to this extension. Then we get the user data. So we get the user um, and we check if they paid and if they have paid, then we hide the payment button. We show the manage button and we set the paid status to paid. Now this handles um, when they click on the payment button. So if they click on the payment button, then it opens the payment page for this plan ID. So they're going to purchase this plan ID. And then we have the manage button. So when they click the manage button, it opens the management page for that user. So again, really, really easy. Basically just one line calls for all of the browser build stuff. So we've made it as easy as possible for you. And that is literally it. Now this extension fully supports accepting payments, determining whether the user has paid, you know, opening up the management page, it handles everything. And as you can see, it was really, really easy. So it's time to actually get this extension into, um, into the browser. So depending on what, uh, browser you're using, this might vary, but for Chrome, just open up settings and then click extensions. Um, and then you have developer mode at the top, make sure it's enabled and then click load unpacked. So, um, just go to wherever your code was that you made. So I'm just going to open it up and then click select the folder and open it. And as you can see here, we have it. And then in the top right, you should now see your extension. So when we click on it, we have the pop-up show and the current status is unpaid, obviously, because we haven't purchased and we've just recently installed it. So if I click purchase, it's going to show the payment page. And because this is still in test mode, because we haven't connected Stripe, it's going to be a test purchase, which allows us to, um, you know, control, uh, to test out the payment flow. So we have the extension name, the plan name and the price, and we can click purchase and it's just going to handle a test purchase for us, a test payment. So we don't need to go through the whole process. As you can see, purchase successful, return to the extension and restart it. So if we follow that advice, we go back paid and now we have the manage button instead of the uh, pay button. So we click manage and we have the pop-up for the management page where we can see our purchase. If this was a subscription, we'd have the option to cancel it um, and manage it and you know update our payment details. But because it's a one-time fee, we can just see details about the purchase. So that's it guys. As you can see, really, really easy to implement. Um, super simple. I hope this video was helpful. All the links will be in the description. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment them or reach out to our support team. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one.